White rhinos are the second largest land mammal after the elephant. On a regular basis we get asked the question why in some game reserves the rhino's horns are cut off. Uncontrolled hunting in the colonial era was historically the major fact in the decline of white rhinos. Today poaching for the illegal trade in their horns is a major threat. Powdered rhino horn is used in traditional Asian medicine as a supposed cure for a range of illnesses, from hangovers to fevers and even cancer. While it is commonly believed to be prescribed as an aphrodisiac, this is not the case. Rhino horn serves no medicinal purpose whatsoever, but it is testimony to the power of tradition that millions of people believe that it does. The recent search in rhino poaching has been primarily driven by the demand for horn by middle class citizens in Vietnam as a status symbol to display success and wealth. Rhino horn is made up of keratin and hair, the same substance our fingernails are made of. It seems to be that the demand for rhino horn is on the increase. In the fight to save the species from the census slaughtering, anti-poaching units are removing the horns from the rhinos before criminal syndicates can get their hands on them. With the poacher's price removed, the risk to the hornless animal is greatly reduced. The removal of the rhino horn is carefully planned and conducted by professional wildlife veterinarians keeping a watchful eye on the rhino, making sure that they are as comfortable as possible while the procedure is taking place. This is not something they want to do. It's a very expensive and invasive procedure, but a necessary evil to fight the fight against the poaching of the rhinos. Is a rhino a rhino without its horn? At the end of the day, it's better to make sure the species stays alive than having no rhino species at all. We salute each and every person fighting the fight to help protect and save our wildlife. A heartfelt thank you.